one of the all-time greats in NXT, now bringing his black heart to WWE. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. A multiple time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. Make way for the ring general, Gunther. Six foot five, nearly 300 pounds of and pure from malice. First, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Six foot four, 265 pounds. Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason. Untouchable and unmatched in the ring. And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect him, He'll make sure that you fear him. It is the ring general's battlefield, and he is ready to conquer. The real Apollo Crews is here. And from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews. Made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there, and is doing the best work of his career. Always had the athleticism. But now he has a drive like never before. I think we're going to see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. Always need to be on your toes whenever you face off against multiple combatants, and that will be especially true in this triple threat match. All set for action, and we're kicking off with Tommaso Ciampa. Gunther and Apollo Crews. It's every competitor for themselves, gentlemen, and I guarantee all three superstars are thinking about that right now. I honestly can't imagine thinking about anything else in a triple threat match. I understand going into this with a strategy and a plan, but I have to think that flies right out the window once the bell rings. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Bam! Bicycle knee strike. Ouch! Into the corner now. Oh, straight forward. What a headbutt. Vicious. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Ooh. Oh, God. Great reversal. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Those bright and 
ambitions of Apollo Crews got sidelined for a moment by that attack. Yeah, Ciampa certainly isn't aiming to gain a friend with attacks that savage. And will this be it? Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Took him out the knee. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Position now. Are you kidding me? And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, well, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. Enable to counter back in the ring now. Uh oh. Champa's attack is thwarted. See an answer for every move attempted. Project Champa. Is it enough? The two. Got it. Survived the triple threat match. Here is your winner, Tommaso Champa. Standing tall above the two other hungry competitors who are in this match. This is the kind of action you get when you put three hungry competitors in a match against one another, forcing them to battle for supremacy. Now uh, the matchup underway. Oh, oh, the referee, the official's down. And these two don't care at all. What, what about the official? Someone check on him, please. Anybody got a referee shirt? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Crank in the head. Off the ropes. Ah, claw to the face. Rip it at the eyes. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Got the leg. Well placed elbow to the leg. Taking flight. What a splash! Go like a boulder out of the sky and absolutely flattened the target. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Oh my goodness! That is just insulting. Crank in the head. So much damage inflicted. Uh-oh. Flapjack! Way up there. What's going to be the key for Angelo Dawkins if he wants to grab the win here tonight? Dawkins needs to utilize the full potential of his size and power. He's got a knockout right hand, and this is the right time to use it. This match grinded him down a little. 
JC putting the mind games away. He thinks he has it. Big kick out. Somehow, some way. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Oh, and that buys some time. Whatever's playing here can't be good. <laughs> Just tossed. She could airline miles for that. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaw on the floor. Unbelievable. Working to neutralize that arm. shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. Well, the team's going to decide who actually starts this match as the legal partner. <laughs> Seems to be a little trouble in paradise before the opening bell. Okay, it looks like we finally have got it settled here. Here There's we go. Bell. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. It is critical to put teamwork ahead of ego in this match. As this match gets underway, there's clearly no love lost in this one. The thing about this is, these superstars don't just dislike each other. Uh-oh, Forearm going to cut off the win. Guillotine is a very, very difficult submission to escape, but he did it. Basement drop kick. Unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Oh, the heel hooks in. Submission. And fighting out of it. Successfully does couple effective shots. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes, that's exactly what they're trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Uh oh. Oh no. Cradle pile drive. That's a WWE equivalent of a helmet to helmet hit right there. Gloating for the world to see. Well scattered reversal there. A powerful suplex toss. Whoa! There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Release German. Uh oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. He's lost some of his win now. Gulak showed off some of his impressive skill set with that attack. Yes, tag! Smooth transition. Boot to the face will free him. Wow! Belly to belly. Targeting the 
chest. Very effective. Rolling knee bar. Boot to the face will free him. Off the ropes. Uh-oh. Slice bread. What a cap. He can do it here. Maybe not. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. In the second row. And Zaguri out of the corner. There's the tag. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. He's absorbed some damage already. Beautiful suplex. Oh, he knew what was coming. Suplex. Whoa! Suicide! to the outside. Cole does it better. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Whoa. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Three. Great way to disorient your opponent. Right oh, man. Kick to the face. Boom. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Suplex. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Tag made. Tag made. He's burying elbows <laughs> in the midsection. A kick drops them to their knees and now kick after kick after kick. Whereas kicks keep coming. for his team. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Back suplex. Spine crushing. Oh, God, that looked awful. And Cedric expected that. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Got it. What a match and what a great team. Two winners. The team of Drew Gulak and Cedric able to shake that disharmony and come out with the victory. That's going to be a great feeling. Well, it also has to be hard knowing that might have been the end of the relationship. We'll have to wait and see on this one, guys. Even though they got the win, I don't know if this rift is too big to overcome.
I am pumped about this one. Competition at its highest level. This is going to be excellent. Shake it, shake it. Yeah! That's Great how you start a match. Now we can get things started. Great sportsmanship to start this thing. But I think it's pretty clear these two competitors will not hold back. They're going to give it everything they've got here tonight. Well, this match has started, and you always love to see that mutual appreciation before the bell. Yeah, but that can always backfire. You can't always expect the same mutual respect from everyone you meet. You're not totally off base there, Corey. Uh-oh. High-angle belly-to-back suplex. Big form into the corner. Knee lift right to the face. Hitting the elbow drop. Oh, well scouted by Carter. Face buster. Into the quick cover. Raises the shoulder. She's not going to go that quietly. What now? Belly stop. Oh. Ah. Great, great is she? Yep, looking for the submission. Ah, uh, black whip. Almost a miraculous escape. And a side slam. Well, still relatively early into her WWE career, Caden Carter has seen a tremendous amount of success, Corey. You think there's any way her opponent can try to derail her? Of course, Cole. While Carter's an incredible athlete, it's fairly easy to overpower her. If you can use your strength and keep her close, you should be able to prevent her from getting the speed for that patented high-flying offense. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Hurricanrana. Both arms captured. And vitriolic stops. Multiple stops. That was a showing of control. And incoming. Big miss right there. Uses and will this be it? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Escape and a side slam. Had that one scouted. And the ball right to the nose. She's losing some steam now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Face full of turnbuckle. Wrist lock, and they'll turn it into a lock. She can end it here. She just kicks out. She got so close, she could taste it there. Caught square by the haymaker. Ah, Shotzi. Slice, Brett, number two. Two. And she kicks out at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Shotzi ascends to the top. Watch out. Diving hammer strike. Right to the leg. Looking for a high. Move. Soaring. Shotzi with a senton bomb. Shotzi just might have finished things. Cover. There's two. Shoulders up. Shoulders up. 
How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for her. That was a great opportunity to put this one away, but it slipped right through her fingers. How did these women have anything left? I have no idea, but there is no way you can expect them to keep going much longer. She ah, oh, there's a clothesline. Another impact. Ducks underneath. Super kick. As their opponent right where they want him. Getting them all tied up. Rolling death lock up. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Just scratching and clawing. This could be it. for the respect they displayed bell to bell. Absolutely, Corey. This is a merited victory by far. Definitely a feel-good moment, guys. A well-earned and deserved victory here. Yeah, Corey, it's hard to criticize someone when they embody that level of respect. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium. Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. Formation. Completely in sync like a finely tuned watch. The American Nightmare 
is here. He is plastic, but that arm is not looking fantastic. And the top action figure doctors have cleared Cody for action tonight, and he's ready to fight. The WWE Universe is on their feet for this man, Cody Rhodes. Cody is going to fight with every fiber of his plastic being, and maybe he can fix that peck with a new paint job tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Brian Danielson. This is a competitor who isn't happy with a win unless they get a handshake from their opponent afterwards. A real respect for the business. Can they even work their hands properly? Apparently, they lack a spine. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. Imperium believes that most of the WWE has lost their respect for the ring. They believe it falls to them to return honor to this industry. Sounds noble when you say it like that, but it usually boils down to them annihilating anyone who they think isn't on their level. And for Imperium, that's literally everyone else. True enough, Imperium has an exceptionally high opinion of themselves and aims to prove they're better than the rest by utterly destroying them in the ring. This could be a night of tag team action at its finest. Yeah, you can't ask for a much better matchup than the one in front of us, gentlemen. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. And he sends him into the corner. Uh-oh. And Cody Rhodes reverses. Boots yeah. off. A stalemate of counters. Pinpointing the leg. Oh, clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Oh, perfect kick. Up for the electric chair, down for the drop. And Giovanni didn't find a counter to that. Able to get there in time. Face had that one telegraphed. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Uh oh, great counter! Whoa, not quite yet. Delivers the cross body. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Hey, you can't do that. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. He gets tagged in. 
Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Makes the cover. And a kick out. Close call. That was almost lights out. And that holds Cody back. Oh, launching himself from the rope. Takes a big hit. Tag switching it up. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. He's tagging out. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. Yeah. Rolling into a monkey flip. Just got thrown around like a sack of do you know what. Yeah. Expected that one. Side Russian leg sweep. He's got him down. Is this it? He gets the shoulder up in two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Suplex. Look at this raw power. Shoulders down. Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. He is still very much in this. Ooh. Springboard up. Vicious right forearm. Rhodes kick to the gut, drops out. Oh, right in the jaw. He is just reeling from that offense. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Driven down, head first. Gonna turn your cranium inside out with that. Boom! 
We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. Close line. So effective. He saw it coming. Caught with that forearm. This could do it. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. DDT. That'll ring your bell. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Not oh, target of the arm. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Fights at it, too. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Shot after shot. Oof. Ruthless striking. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Continued offense courtesy of Cody Rhodes. Clean tag for his partner. Oh. Whoa! Drop kick all the way to the outside. thrown back into the ring. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh, my! What a display of dominance. Vertical suplex into a powerball. And a tag there. Oh, man. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. And the cover for the win! <laughs> Grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility. The official needs to get in there and get some control. We know there's a lot of disdain between these two men. And we're seeing it right before our very eyes, before this match even starts. Now we're official. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Well, it's blatantly obvious there is a ton of animosity between these two superstars. And not wasting any time getting this fight started. After a shock and attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. Yeah, clearly there's nothing but bad intentions in the air right now. These competitors are ready to have a cover! Only getting one out of that pin. Still early goings here for these men. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Stiff forearm shot, and Ricochet adapts. Missed timing with that springboard. What a forearm. Jumping knee strike. I like that. 
stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Paying it back with their own counter. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Left by the turnbuckles. Snap! Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. A slingshot into it. Oh, straight to the floor. Face meat floor. I think I see a few teeth on the floor. Back to the corner. Drop kick right on the money. What can a competitor do against such an explosive athlete like Ricochet? Ricochet is a package of dynamite, and you have to cut the fuse. You need to target a leg. That'll simmer down Ricochet's explosiveness. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Stiff forearm shot. Ah, jumping cutter. And Ricochet being put in his place a bit. Yeah, some courageous offense from Johnny Gargano. What a kick. Again. Firm control. Oh, what a boot. A moonsault. And into the count. Two count. No, shoulders up at two. Wow. And they get over. Standing sheer noise. So some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your ability. Look out! The dive! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Gargano's strike hits the mark. Gargano clearly feeling like he's got the advantage here. He's going for it all. Flying. Oh, just completely off target there. A gruesome landing. I don't know how you walk away from that. Real Barrow Hurricane Rod, a nice. Equilibrium all out of whack. Well, definitely not something you want to deal with at a time like this. Holy meet the barricade. Boom. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. <laughs> Set up for the front leg sweep. Nicely done. <laughs> Snapmare takeover. Oh my God, the boom salt. Looking for the victory. There's two. And still in this. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Lands face first. And Ricochet couldn't slip out of the way of that hit. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Ricochet heads up, thinking high risk. He's looking completely lost as he finds his foot. Look at the top. What? Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He must have seen that coming. O'Connor roll, roll, roll through. Fight. This feels so unsafe. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Six. 
Northern Lights suplex rolls through. What's coming next? Oh, my gosh. Right into the brain buster. He's one step ahead there. Left hook in the mush. Haymaker after Haymaker. Oh, what a counter. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. <laughs> Boom! The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Boom! The European uppercut. Ricochet now. Uh oh. Gorgano keeps him at bay. Fans off the attack with an elbow. Facing some serious adversity and still coming out on top. This is a well-earned win, no question there. Toughness was on display in this one. A moment of pride here, beating the odds and coming out on top. I'm sure the whole WWE Universe is a little in shock right now. Gentlemen, sharpen your pencils. Andre Chase is bringing a wrestling test. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing Chase University from Draper, North Carolina, weighing in at 216 pounds, Andre Chase. We are about to see the ultimate in-ring IQ from the headmaster of Chase U. Well, he's got a classroom of students watching this match. Now it's time to see if his teachings are worth the tuition. Like it or not, Andre Chase is a quick thinker when the pressure's on. Well, the pressure is on tonight. Hold on tight, everybody. It's time for some big Duke energy. Duke Hudson earned some major success in NXT and wants to expand his horizons. And his partner, representing Chase University 
from Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds, Duke Hudson. Duke has made Chase U the accredited, prestigious institution it is today. You have to respect Duke's journey. He experienced a new level of success when he started taking his studies seriously. Well, Duke has all the pieces needed to become a breakout star. Now he needs to put them all together. Duke's got his lesson plan in hand and is ready to start handing out grades. Look, I'm the first to say an education's important, but Hudson needs to focus on taking care of business and less about running for class president. Look who it is. And a combined weight of 400 pounds. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. We're about to get an education in the ring here from Chase U. Well, they're impressive in their academics. They're even more impressive in the ring. This is a team that studies the in-ring game very hard. And every time they step into the ring, it shows. I expect we're going to see some new things from the Chase U curriculum tonight. And if you're a team that wants to learn how to work as one, this should be a match to study. This is a match to take notes on. As a team, you always have to be on the same page. But in this one, you can expect to see teams on the same sentence. And an elbow. Getting set up for something in the corner. Corner and a couple back elbows to follow. Guys, I have a feeling someone is about to get their chest caved in. I think it's happening. And Chase fends him off. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Kick right to the face. That's a tag. Off the tag. Double team action on the way. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Clearly waiting for that. And he barely evades. A series of boots. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. He's been placed in the corner now. the chest. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. And a carefully measured knee drop. 
Nasty right hand. Vicious Inziguri. Big knee to the midsection. Thinking pays off. Look at this. Uh-oh. He's got him scouted. And an elbow drop, too. Oh, this is nasty. Rip breaker. Now he thinks he has it. No, he pops the shoulder before three. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Drops the knee. Bam! Discus knee strike. That turns it around for Duke. With a kick to the gut. No. Oh, oh, oh. Caught with a big boot. On the mark. And sent right into the corner. Oh, draping double axe handle. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Gut wrench power bomb! I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Jarring impact. Connecting with a sharp elbow. He's getting a little battered now. Take your notes. That was quick and effective delivery by Chase. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Oh, and he had the wherewithal to counter Andre. Here we go. Cover. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Paying it right back with a reversal. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. We're gonna see it. Gut wrench power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. An arm breaker. Stomping down. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Big boot. Uh, grabbing the arm and just rapid stops. The stomp in every single part of his body. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. Oh, misses the mark. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Gotta hurt. Nowhere to go, being victimized by the, the Muay Thai training really showing off here. He's got the answer for that one. Whoa, just, he's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. And he fights it off. Almost inhuman at this point. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Ah, oh, barbaric amount of stops. Constant pressure stacking on top of Chase here. If Chase can just weather this storm, he'll be fine. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Single leg drop kick caught him. Andre climbs. What's on his mind? Blast off. Oh. the tag. Oh. 
Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Front face lock applied up and their opponent driven down with the door buster. Continue, someone will fade. This can't go much longer. Placing them into the corner. Wicked close line. <laughs> oh, look at this. Muay Thai knee strikes. Stomp it away. Punishing their opponent. Just relentless with this assault. Exclamation point for the victory here. <laughs> ah, celebration underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. That was a great. Well, well we got another superstar. So, uh, I guess adding to the celebration. Appreciation? I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right. Sami Zayn is here, and he is all fired up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. Sami Zayn's a world-class competitor, no doubt about it. He just needs to make sure to get out of his own way tonight. Stay out of his head. WWE Universe just exploded! And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, 
Rogers, Rick Storm. We talk a lot about locker room dynamics. You'll never hear a single negative thing backstage about this superstar. Oh, well, that is what happens when you treat your fellow superstars with respect. They respect you right back. There are no awards for congeniality here in WWE. That respect means nothing if you lose. We'll have to pull out all the stops against Sammy because he will definitely do the same. Guys, Sami Zayn has made the impossible possible throughout his career. Zayn fights with passion and knows how to defeat all types of opponents. Now, we don't need to list the trials and tribulations of Sami Zayn, but unless you've been stranded on a desert island, you know Sami's been through the ringer. Sami Zayn fights for what he believes in, regardless if he has zero supporters or the entire WWE Universe behind him. But tonight, seems like the latter. Coming into this fight, his opponent's been boasting a new, more aggressive attitude. We'll have to see if that new approach will produce any dividend. Chicken wing, underhook, uh-oh. Oh, half and half my suplex. Gosh. Basement drop kick. Uh-oh. And Sammy is countered. Ah, look at this. Now well, that'll do some serious damage. Big forearm. Oh, what a clubbing blow. How did scout it? Knee straight to the gut, stays off the attack. Corey, in your eyes, what is Sami Zayn's biggest advantage in this matchup? No, oh, that's an easy one, Cole. Sami Zayn's a strategic mastermind. That'll give him a clear path to victory. All he has to do is properly execute them. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. And Sammy's focus looked like it was shaking after that. He planned for this and could still rally. Oh, the knee drop connects. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Whoa. Boom, Michinoku driver. with an elbow. Sami Zayn retaliates. Up into the electric chair. Power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Script on him there. Get through the ropes. Wow, my God. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Has it hooked in. Inverted suplex. Oh, what a kick. Oh, this is nasty. My goodness, might have cracked their rib. He wants even more out of his opponent. Zane dodges just in time. He can end it here. He forces a break before the count of two. Still no end in sight here. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. He got whipped into that corner. Negate Zane's offense. Going for a power slam, slips down. Countered into an inverted DDT. <laughs> Set up for the front oh. leg sweep. And will this be it? Whoa. Manages to escape before the throw.
three count. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Catches an uppercut. Okay, back here. Leg Lariat. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. What a barrage of stops. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. The heart of these competitors is showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. Counters that. Across the shoulders, up and boom, check. Here it comes, guys. Look at this. Oh, my. Boston Crab. And look at the knee right in the back of the neck. After everything these two men have been. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. Response after another back and forth we go. Put it in the corner. Oh, Zayn. Zayn has this wrapped up. Try and end it. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. Look at Sammy's eyes. Zayn absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Oh, the kick by Has Sammy ended it there? So there's that. Exhausted after what was a really tough match. And now look at this. Look at this mess. These two may go right now. No fear in the face of competition. Six feet of raw power. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And NXT Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. We're the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster.
She is ready to get in the competition's face. Mi Chin is as Mi Chin does. Never afraid to do something crazy. And representing the OC from Fontana, California, Mi Chin! And Mi Chin really knows how to take care of a problem inside the squared circle. Yeah, the HBIC is looking to neutralize the competition tonight and won't back down until she gets business done. Hope she has a plan in mind against Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it is impossible to prepare for the unparalleled power that Raquel brings to the table. The bell rings, and just look at Raquel Rodriguez, a towering figure in the women's division with fire in her eyes. And don't forget, an ability to completely bulldoze the competition. Insane power, unreal agility. There's a reason Raquel's able to just lay people out. Absolutely, Corey. Raquel Rodriguez is the real deal. And then we've got Meechin, a superstar with no shortage of attitude. Meechin loves to take the fight right to her opponent and get in their face with hard, <laughs> devastating hits. Not one to hold back or back down from a fight. Mi Chin has had to battle for everything she has accomplished in this industry. Once that bell is rung, you can count on her to go all out, non-stop, until it's over. Oh, what a drop kick on the mark. She says, no thanks. And count outs are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And Corey, you have to think this is going to be all about power for young Raquel Rodriguez. It's certainly what I would do. Raquel's a pure athlete, and most women lack the strength she possesses. Lean into what makes her special, and she'll be well on her path to victory. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Ooh, what a forearm club. Hoist it up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Oh, oh. Up out of nowhere. And she's not done yet. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Sharp elbow. The small of the back. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. She's starting to drag a little bit. Raquel there remains an intimidating presence no matter how far into this match we go. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is, but they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Look at that. She got her down. Is this it? Well, that was a hard-fought victory there, and uh, the opponent's pretty hurt, I think. Certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come on, what's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac. maniac. 